Welcome back to the Advanced Vehicle System Plugin Tutorial Series, Shumanoba, whatever. We are replicating our lights today. We are replicating all the lights that we have, brake lights, turn lights, front lights, and the front materials for the uh, headlights as well. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So today's episode should be quite quick and simple actually because there's not a lot of things that we need to do we need to make some tiny adjustments but not a lot so uh, i'm gonna go straight into my vehicle master because this is where i have all the light logic where we have the keys that and and events which are activating our lights uh, so let's have a quick look real quick just to refresh on the what we did before so we have the vehicle brake which obviously breaks our vehicle then it gets the light status and depending on the light status it sets a different one uh well, well whether it's on or off then also we have uh, on h key we just turn on the regular headlights and the tail lights and then we also have the turn signals now we're gonna need to replicate two things only uh i think uh, we're gonna need to replicate the set lights active and we will also need to uh, replicate the toggle lights active the get lights active doesn't really need to be replicated because it is going to return us the information whatever the server is going to set up in there and it's going to return us eventually the correct answer now to make life a little bit simpler we're going to create a custom event which is going to allow us we're going to be able to use the same event throughout all of the uh, locations where we for example use the set lights active now for that we're going to need two of these custom events so let's create the first one and i'm going to call this server set lights active there we go we have one event let's go ahead straight uh, let's get straight into it create the other one which i'm going to prefix multi so multicast set lights active and of course the server event needs to be replication rule needs to be ran on server let me make this a little bit like this and then the multi set lights active obviously will need to be then the multicast event there we go. So we have two of these events. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this node and use Control C and Control V to copy and paste. Now I'm going to paste it over here. And all I'm going to do is simply drag these two inputs. So the lights group, I'm going to drag in here till it says add pin to node. It instantly adds me a pin and same will go for the active status. There we go. We have that. And then from the server event, we can launch our multi event. So let's look for the multi set lights active and do the same thing again connect these inputs so that it would create us these inputs in the server event there we go uh, now let's have a look over here so we are setting the lights status whether they're active or inactive and then we are updating the lights we need to do the same thing over here so on the multicast event we are setting the lights uh, active status and then we need to update the lights exactly the same as we did before there we go we can compile and save this and now we need to replace these two events so i'm going to move this up a little bit and from the true route i'm going to look for this server set lights active so we have the server set lights active there we go i'm going to disconnect this whole thing and i'm going to replace rewrite these values that are missing in here so we need the stop lights for the lights group and the active status in this situation needs to be true now i'm going to move this back and i'm just going to copy paste this exact same node connect it right here and again copy the same values so the uh, stop lights and they should be false for the active and then we can just simply delete this stuff so we have these nodes right here we can now hit compile test this on the multiplayer so let's drive in front of the other guy and if we hit brakes the other guy should see us hitting the brakes there we go so the brakes do seem to work obviously none of the other lights will work because those are not yet replicated but the brake lights seem to be replicated quite nicely uh, obviously the server is probably going to see it because usually this is the server uh, server player and usually if the clients see then the server will definitely see there we go as you can see it is all good so we have those lights replicated and let's go ahead and let's move this aside because uh we are not only going to use this just for the brake lights we're going to use this for other lights as well not all of them but for uh, for a couple of them let's have a look again where we are using this set lights active uh, so 
and this is a toggle and this is the set lights active and we also have the toggle one so we have update lights and set lights active so again let's look for our server set lights active let's copy the parameters so we have the left blinker group and the active status is false so then we can hold control and reconnect the execution pin uh, actually we can just simply delete that delete that and all we need is this server custom event now for the bottom over here, we need to do the same thing, except for again, change the parameters to be the right blinkers group. So we can hold control to reconnect this, remove that, bring this into its place. And there we go. We are replicating this part of this as well. But now we also need to do the same thing for the toggle lights active as well, uh, which we don't have right now. So let's go ahead and again, let's uh, just for the uh, quickness, let's copy this. I'm going to copy this next to these two. And let's go ahead and let's create two custom events. So the first one is again the server toggle lights active. Let's make this into a server event. And we need another one, which is the multi toggle lights active. And let's make this into a multicast event. There we go. And then we can connect our Google Lights active. All we need is the lights group. So we can plug that in and it instantly creates an input for us. And then we can run our multi uh, Google Lights active. And again, plug in this guy like so. And at the end of this, obviously, again, we need to update the lights on the multicast so that everybody would be notified about the fact that the lights have been changed. There we go. So that's all good. So let's go ahead and let's use this, the top one. So the server, uh, server Google lights active instead of the regular events that we have over here on our blinkers. So we're here again, server Google lights active. And now uh, let's hold control again to reconnect this. Let's copy the lights group and also let's hold control and reconnect this one so we can remove the toggle lights and update lights events now but uh, i mean nodes there we go so we can remove those two and let me move this just a little bit higher there we go so it should look something like this now we need to do the same thing for the bottom down here as well so let's go ahead let's move these two aside and let's look for the server toggle lights active Copy the group, so we have the right group, right blinkers group, connect this directly, reconnect this guy to over here. There we go, remove this piece and I believe we are good to go. So we have the left groups, right groups, toggles, okay, that's good. And now let's do the same thing for this guy right here. So on keyboard key H, all we gotta do is again server, toggle, lights active. And we just plug in the regular lights into the lights group. There we go. Compile and save that. Let's hit play and let's have a look. So let's have a look at this. So let's test this out. So we have the headlights. We have the rear end lights. So everybody can see those. There we go. So those seem to function. And the turn signals seem to be working on everybody's sides. So now at this point you can see that pretty much everything is replicated. The only issue that we are facing right now is the fact that our headlights, well, they don't seem to work in this correct order, nor they are really replicated. As you can see, nobody else can see the headlights being turned on the way they should be. But uh, on the server, they work fine. But on the client side, as you can see, they are totally flipped around. Now, this is not going to work. Uh, the replication part is not going to be exactly the same as it is for the toggling the lights on and off because, uh, well, it, it, technically, if, if you have multiple vehicles, uh, there is a if you are if you are not the one who's modeling them, there's probably going to be a slim chance that all of them will have the same index. Uh, so this complicates things a little bit. Now, to create this system so that it actually works uh, properly in the multiplayer, go ahead, open up your vehicle master and add yourselves a new variable to this. And I'm going to call mine front light materi material index. And this needs to be an integer. There we go. And now once we have created that, we will have that available inside of our sports car. So if we would hit class defaults, 
you will see our front light material index. So go ahead and change this value to whatever your vehicle's index, uh, whatever your headlight material index is. So in my situation, this is one. So I'm gonna set that to be one. There we go, we have done that. So now we can go back to our vehicle master and do the adjustments needed uh, from over here from our vehicle's master. So we have the HK event, which is this server toggle lights active, which is this guy right here, and which then runs our uh, front lights. Now, technically now we have kind of two options. Uh, we can do the same thing as we did before, create two custom events, one on the server, one on the, on the multicast side, and then we can uh, run this task that we have over here. So setting the material. What I'm gonna do instead is, uh, since we are on the keyboard key H, we are toggling the lights active. So we are running this guy and then this guy and then this whole thing gets ran. We are enabling the lights, updating the lights, everything is all good. And what I'm gonna do is actually change the material uh, after we have done this bit. And the reason for that is so that I don't have any extra, many extra custom events, which I'm gonna use only for this one instance and one instance uh, alone. Obviously, if you are going to change multiple materials throughout the course of this, then maybe it is a better idea to then create these two events for the materials. But since I'm only going to do it as of right now, only for the lights, I'm gonna stick with this one. So on the multicast, from the light group, I'm gonna do a switch on name because obviously I wanna change the and the lights only, the materials only if I'm enabling a certain light group, which is the regular lights. So I'm gonna copy this name and I'm gonna paste it into my switch in the first entrance. There we go. We have the regular lights right here. And what we want to do over here is actually do a if branch check. And the condition for this is going to be our toggle lights active status. Here we go, so we have that one, maybe a small reroute just to see it a little bit better. And then once we have done that, then we can do the same thing we did over here. So I'm just gonna copy these few nodes to over here. Here we go, connect this, connect this, and the materials stay the same, except for then we need to use our front light material index because obviously different vehicles might have different uh, material slots. If all of them are the same for you, then good for you but uh, it's not always going to be that case unless you are the one who is modeling this and adjusting these indexes so uh, i believe we should be good to go so let's have a look let's see if this is replicating properly so let's drive in front of this vehicle right here move the camera maybe to somewhere roughly over here and hit h there we go. So the other client can see our lights. We can see our lights material getting changed as well. So that is really nice. There we go. That is getting changed and the server can see all of the same stuff. Amazing. So uh, thank you for watching. That's going to be it for boom today's episode. I hope you found this useful and helpful. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Uh, yeah, all that good stuff. And I see you in the next one.